the same issues I saw with the first season of the show where I had to work to get people of color behind camera and black people behind camera, it's still not perfect. It's still not great. And so I feel like I have to not only call my team out, but I have to call the industry out. Because, you know, as we talk about more in diversity and inclusion on screen, I still see it in a lot of meetings with mostly white dudes. So it's not about what, white allies. It's about white power brokers who want to be allies. Because I sit in rooms with a lot of power brokers pitching a lot of ideas, and they, we talk a lot about diversity, but a lot of those conversations end up being with white people about diversity. And, and I know that the power is in those seats and those meetings, it's not on screen. And I'm not the first to say this, but I feel like if I'm, if I'm gonna be about it, I gotta talk about it and I gotta really you know, represent. So it's not, it's not enough for me to get these awards and feel like, yay, I've been doing something. As, as every black person, every person of color knows, we have to keep the door open for more people and we have to fight to get more people through the door. Yeah, I mean, I was outside on the red carpet and we were talking to uh, some of the parents from Born This Way and they were saying that we sort of joked about the fact that, that I won the last two years. I was like, yeah, but you won the first year. And we sort of, I sort of said, well, maybe next year. And they're like, oh, we don't, we're not going to be back next year. So we, and sort of the uh, idea was like, we won't be back at the Emmys anymore. And I sort of thought like, if this show is being nominated for all these things and being shown as this change maker, when white shows have that power, they get invited into all the rooms to pitch other shows. Or when shows with, with uh, heterosexual, cisgender, uh, able-bodied, or whatever you want to say, people, they get invited to all those shows. Born this way, it feels like, well, if these people have been nominated for all these awards, shouldn't they be pitching more shows and being out there to be able to be in more, in more shows and, and produce shows and to bring through other stories? And so for me, I, maybe that's happening for them, but I didn't get the impression when I said that that it was happening because they were like, oh, yeah. So for me, it's like, again, it's not enough to put the idea in their head. It's, we got to put the idea in everybody in this room because these are the people who actually make TV. These are the people who have the power to have general meetings and to green light things. So it's, I, have, I feel like I, it is a little thing to do is to put the idea in the heads of the people who can do this. You know, and when I say, you know, it's just like when I say white shows, when I'm referring to boys, I mean able-bodied, cisgender, heterosexual, cisnormative people, you know. So that's what I'm saying when I say that. I just hope that you have different conversations going out than you came in. You know, it's just TV on a basic level. While when we make this, I feel like on our show, I do want it to change the world. It's just an episode of television. But if people go to work the next day or go on Twitter and talk about what they saw and it changed your conversation, then that starts, the, that starts change, you know? So I just want to change the conversation. Better dinner party conversation. That's all I'm asking for. And also the ability to correct people when they say things that you now know are wrong after you see something on our show.